Hi, my name is Ted O'Connell, and I'm the author of USMLE Step 2 Secrets. This is part two of the endocrinology chapter. We'd like to invite you to visit medicalschoolvideos.com for additional educational videos and email us your thoughts and ideas at step2secrets at gmail.com. Let's get started. Define hirsutism. What causes it? Hirsutism is a male hair growth pattern in women or prepubescent children. The most common cause is familial, genetic, or idiopathic hirsutism. But on the USMLE exam, watch for polycystic ovary syndrome, Cushing syndrome, and drugs such as minoxidil, phenytoin, and cyclosporin. These disorders do not produce virilization. If virilization accompanies the hirsutism, an androgen-secreting ovarian tumor or adrenal source is likely. Signs of virilization include clitoral enlargement, dip deepening of the voice, and temporal balding. Androgen-secreting ovarian tumors include Sertoli Leydig cell tumors and arenoblastoma. And the adrenal sources include congenital adrenal hyperplasia, Cushing syndrome, or adrenal tumor. What causes virilization in children? In female neonates, congenital adrenal hyperplasia is a likely cause of virilization. The classic example is a female infant born with ambiguous genitalia. However, the patient may also be a male child with precocious puberty. At least 90% of cases are caused by 21-hydroxylase deficiency. Because 21-hydroxylase is involved in the production of both aldosterone and cortisol, children develop signs of hypoadrenalism with salt wasting, hypotension, hyperkalemia, hyponatremia, hypoglycemia, acidosis, and nausea and vomiting. Abnormally high levels of serum 17-hydroxyprogesterone or urinary 17 ketosteroids, which include dehydroepiandrosterone, or DHEA, DHEA sulfate, and androsterone, along with decreased free cortisol in the serum, clinch the diagnosis. Give corticosteroids to prevent death. In older children, worry about a testosterone-secreting gonadal neoplasm. What are the symptoms and signs of hyperparathyroidism? The same as those for hypercalcemia, which includes the so-called bones, stones, groans, and psychiatric overtones. In other words, bone resorption with osteomalacia and osteitis fibrosa cystica, kidney stones, abdominal pain secondary to nausea and vomiting, ileus, nephrolithiasis, peptic ulcer disease, constipation, or pancreatitis, which are all increased with hypercalcemia, and also emotional lability, delirium, depression, and or psychosis. In primary cases of hyperparathyroidism, the serum calcium is high, phosphorus is normal to low, and parathyroid hormone, or PTH, is increased. In secondary cases, the calcium level is low. What causes hyperparathyroidism? 90% of primary cases are caused by a parathyroid adenoma, which can usually be confirmed with a nuclear medicine scan. Other causes include parathyroid hyperplasia and parathyroid carcinoma. Secondary cases include low calcium levels, such as from renal failure, to which an increase in PTH is a normal physiologic response. Tertiary hyperparathyroidism occurs when PTH has been elevated for too long, secondary to long-standing hypocalcemia, and PTH continues to be over-secreted even when the calcium is normalized with treatment. Translation Put all patients with renal failure on calcium supplements to prevent this complication. What are the signs and symptoms of hypoparathyroidism? The same as those for hypocalcemia, which include tetany, prolonged QT interval on the EKG, 
the calcium is low, the phosphorus is high, and the parathyroid hormone level is low. What causes hypoparathyroidism? The most common cause is accidental removal or damage during thyroid surgery. Watch for tetany after thyroid surgery. Rare causes are genetic. Watch for DeGeorge syndrome in children with the congenital absence of parathyroid glands, tetany in the first 48 hours of life, an absent thymus gland, immunodeficiency, cardiac anomalies, and midline facial defects. What are the symptoms and signs of hypercalcemia? We just mentioned these in discussing hyperparathyroidism, but the symptoms are the same, bones, stones, groans, and psychiatric overtones. Signs included, include a shortened QT interval on the EKG, weakness, polyuria, bone changes, and kidney stones on the radiographs, as well as renal failure. What causes hypercalcemia? In outpatients, the most common cause is hyperparathyroidism. In hospitalized patients, the most common cause is malignancy. The first test to order is the parathyroid hormone level, which helps to differentiate hyperparathyroidism with a high PTH from other causes of hypercalcemia such as malignancy, vitamin D intoxication, or thiazide diuretic use, all in which case the, the parathyroid hormone level will be low. Multiple types of cancer can cause hypercalcemia, but the classic USMLE question involves either multiple myeloma or secretion of PTH-like hormone by a squamous cell carcinoma, especially in the lung. Familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia is characterized by hypercalcemia with low calcium levels in the urine, in contrast to other hypercalcemias. Other causes include vitamin A or D intoxication, sarcoidosis or other granulomatous diseases, and excessive calcium intake, as in milk alkali syndrome. What are the symptoms and signs of hypocalcemia? Symptoms include paresthesias, and the classic pattern is in perioral region or the distal extremities, and also muscle aches, dementia, depression, and psychosis. Signs of hypocalcemia include prolonged QT interval on the EKG, tetany, schwastek sign, which is tetany el elicited by tapping on the facial nerve to cause facial muscle contraction, Trousseau sign, which is carpopedal spasm caused by inflation of a blood pressure cuff or application of a tourniquet, dementia, depression, psychosis, seizures, and papilledema. What causes hypocalcemia? Hypoparathyroidism, which usually occurs after thyroid gland surgery, pseudo -hyper hypoparathyroidism which is genetic and organ unresponsiveness to PTH with normal PTH levels, shortened metacarpal bones, short stature, and mental retardation. DeGeorge syndrome, vitamin D deficiency, which results in osteomalacia and rickets, renal failure of any cause and certain renal tubular problems, acute pancreatitis, and secondary to hypomagnesemia. Hypoproteinemia of any cause may lead to low levels of total serum calcium, but levels of ionized calcium, the active form, are normal. In any patient with low serum calcium, the first step is to determine whether the serum albumin level is decreased. If it is, no treatment is required and no symptoms will develop. What specific problems are caused by obesity? Obesity causes an increase in overall mortality at any age and increases the risk for insulin resistance and diabetes, hypertension, hypertriglyceridemia, coronary artery disease, gallstones, sleep apnea, hypoventilation, osteoarthritis, thromboembolism, varicose veins, and cancer, especially endometrial cancer. 
define precocious puberty and pseudo-precocious puberty. True precocious puberty is defined as activation of the hypothalamic pituitary axis with sexual maturation before the age of eight years in females and before the age of nine years in males. In pseudo-precocious puberty, secondary sex characteristics develop prematurely because of high circulating levels of androgen or estrogen. How is precocious puberty different from pseudo-precocious puberty? True precocious puberty is usually idiopathic, but can be caused by central nervous system lesions. A general rule of thumb is that true precocious puberty causes testicular or ovarian enlargement, which does not occur with pseudoprecocious puberty. Ovarian cysts are not considered true ovarian enlargement. All patients with suspected precocious puberty should have a gonadotropin-releasing hormone stimulation test. If a dose of gonadotropin-releasing hormone produces the typical pubertal response of increased FSH and LH, true precocious puberty is diagnosed. An MRI scan of the brain should be obtained to rule out central nervous system disease, such as hamartomas, tumors, cysts, and trauma. What causes pseudoprecocious puberty? Pseudoprecocious puberty may be caused by exogenous hormones, adrenal tumors, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, hormone secreting tumors, or McCune Albright syndrome in females, and this presents with ovarian cysts, pseudoprecocious puberty, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia of bone, and cafe au lait spots. How is precocious puberty treated? Because premature puberty causes premature fusion of growth plates in the bone and can cause serious social problems for affected children, treatment is indicated. Treatment of any underlying disorders is indicated for pseudoprecocious puberty. For true idiopathic precocious puberty, treatment with long-acting gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonists is indicated to suppress the pituitary hypothalamic axis and to delay the onset of puberty until an appropriate age. That's the end of uh, part two of the endocrinology chapter. Please join us next time for part three of the endocrinology chapter.